Hi, and welcome to the National Michael Chekhov Association's NMCA way of doing Michael Chekhov on your feet. This week, our topic is movable centers. And to get us launched right up into our activity, here is my dear colleague and co-founder of the National Michael Chekhov Association, Will Kilroy. Will, take it away. All right. Hi there. So what I'd like you to do, you can be standing, you can do this sitting, is just to, you'll feel your collarbone here, and then just crawl your fingers down, probably about three inches, to the middle of your upper chest. So that's the location we're going to work with. You might give that a little tap, a little massage. You might even feel a little indentation of vulnerability there when you press. And I just want you to tap that area, and imagine that tap goes inside of your body, so it starts to reverberate within you all the way through to your upper back. So you're just energizing this point that we're working with. This is our location in the upper chest. And once you feel like you have that happening, you can let go of the tap and just use your imagination to really focus on that point in the upper chest. And imagine that there is a ball of energy within you that is in that location. And imagine that the quality of this ball of energy is that of warm sunshine. And imagine the motion that it has, the sense of movement is that it is sending rays out in all directions. So the rays are going 360 degrees all around you. And you can just feel how it is to stand that way. And imagine that it's also filled with the quality of confidence that just exudes out of you, it's behind you, it's to the sides of you, in the front of you, this wonderful ball of energy in the upper chest, and it's sending out this wonderful warm sunshine. So you've got a location, you've got a certain quality, you've got a sense of movement, this shining that's happening. If you want, you could take just a little stroll, you know, maybe just a little 360 circle, whatever, so you can experience how that is. Oh, let that even affect your breath. If the center is here in the upper chest and it's this warm, radiant sunshine, what then happens to your breath? Do you breathe in more deeply? When you exhale, do you feel like you're exhaling that wonderful warmth that's exuding from all of you? And I want to keep this rolling because we want to keep it short so it's something that you can follow. So I'm going to throw this right over to Paul now, and he's going to continue on. And just let that kind of wash away. Maybe shake it out if you want to. Just go back to your neutral body. Um, I'd like to think, talk a little bit about um, our, our, um, our inner landscape and the thinking, feeling, willing lives. And I've been dealing a lot of stuff with my, the body parts that tend to communicate to those areas. So I want you to think about uh, your center being in your heart in your heart and just put your hands or palm of your hand, which is also a, feel, a feeling center. And just put the palm of your hand in your, and just open that up. Just connect like, this is my feeling life. This is where my feeling life lives. This is where my feeling life lives. And then just outside of that, why don't you put a little cloud around a heart and the heart is just bleeding, dripping, dripping blood. Just feel that out there and see what it does to your psychology, your feeling life. And then support it by putting your hand underneath it and letting the blood slowly drip onto the palm of your hand. And let that lead you around in space and shape your feeling life and how you move through the space. Kind of combining two things. So just really let that heart that's bleeding out in front of you just lead you through through space. And then, like I said, if you want it, you can always just use that palm of your hand and kind of put it underneath it and just feel that blood dripping from that center as it leads you forward. Good, and let that just kind of wash away. And we'll go over to Ophir. Uh, let's do this uh, washing away. <laughs> and um, now we're going to do um, a very um, strange 
thing, we're going to sit down and imagine and imagine a gray um, a gray cold smooth warm inside your right eye a gray smooth cold warm that is crawling inside your right eye and imagine it and let it be the fuel tank of your body let it let it this this warm let this warm give impulses to your uh, every gesture and you can take a pen or a coin or something or a key something small that it's next to you that is next to you and look at it and do something with it like write something or put it elsewhere and now let this warm go down 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 to your heart so it's here in the middle of your chest inside this warm and what's the difference now take your pen or coin and write or put it aside do some very short attitude with it and now this warm is going down to your pelvis let it go down to your pelvis feel it and this is your fuel tank now and take the pen or small object and do the short attitude with it now and you can wash it out and let's go to eric we're going to imagine three different kinds of centers and they're not always going to be inside of you uh the first center that you're going to imagine i want you to imagine that there is a uh, that your center is in front of you and you can hold it in just hovering right in front of you and it is fluffy it's soft it's pink and it's spiky but definitely fun and it's right in front of you and i want you to imagine that all of your impulses are are coming out through this center that you have in front of you and i want you to allow your impulses to be affected as it goes through this center fluffy spiky uh fun and i want you to say the word mine 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 okay now i want you to drop that and now I want you to recreate a new center. And this is a, an ice cube, okay? And it sits right in your forehead. And it is uh, spinning counterclockwise. And it's really icy cold. Uh, it's reminiscent of a brain freeze. So you, you may feel some headachey pain coming through it. And it is definitely affecting your ability to be comfortable. And now I want you to say the word mine and channel it through the impulse through this center. Mine. 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 
Mine. Mine. Mine. Mine. Mine. <laughs> Mine. Okay. Yeah. Good. And now I want you to drop that. And now I want you to imagine that you have a round, bouncy rubber ball that's inside. Imagine that your chest cavity is hollow. And, and it's one of those bouncy balls that when you bounce it, it ricochets off of the walls and the ceiling all around you, okay? And this center is ricocheting all around the inside of your empty body cavity, okay? And um, you're going to say the word mine when, when you feel this center, when you feel the center bouncing around and the impulse is gonna go through that, okay? Are you ready? Okay, and let it bounce around. Should, it might even tickle a little bit as it's going bouncing around really crazy. Now say the word mine. 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 And I kindly and lovingly pass the torch to Andrea. So let's take that center of energy and raise it to the top of our heads where we can feel a tingling sensation like sparkles coming out. And we're just going to feel that and, and the amount of energy and glowing and sparkling and reflecting of light that comes out of that. And then let's just say the first word that comes to our head. Fun. <laughs> wow. Get up wow. There. Wow. 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 Okay, then now let's take that and let's take that and, and form it into a nice fluffy ball of reflecting light. And let's have it at the top of our the top of our collarbone, and where that just radiates and comes out of us, and you can just walk around feeling the feeling that that has, and um, helping us in whatever we need to be able to say, especially at this time in the world, and just the um, platform that that gives us. <laughs> and the, the energy and the ability to speak that that gives us. And the word that comes to your head, shout it out, just say speech. Absolute. Lots. Absolute. Let's just take all of that energy and let's just shake it out. And then I am going to take this and hand it over to Sean. If everyone could actually find themselves in their chairs, uh, since we're spending a lot of time here on this, uh, in our chairs, and I'm sure you're watching it at home in your chairs, I want you to think about just sitting in your normal place, the normal you. And then I want you to think about where you kind of feel that center of gravity naturally. And I want you to start to cultivate that whole sensation and move it very specifically up, 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 forward slightly until it tracks up your spine, comes to your eyes, and then dips down and touches the tip of your nose. And now you have like an LED light, like Rudolph, but white seeking out from that nose. And what does that do to your center of gravity? What does it do to your posture in your chair? What does it do to your breath? What does it do to your sensations? And I just wanna give you just a slight context here, just a slight uh, thing to lean into. And that is this nose is kind of the anchor of everything you do. It's your conductor when you talk. It's your secret when you shift. Now, I want everybody to just think about how they're gonna negotiate themselves out of their chair using this nose as their prime motivator. This nose is gonna look, this nose is gonna lever you, 
And you're probably going to find a little bit of change in how you move your center of gravity to get out of that chair. Don't rush it. Allow that breath to help fortify that. When you're ready, come out of that chair. Just start looking around. You're seeking. And that nose is leading that seeking. And very suddenly, you're going to hear something. And I just want you to react to it how you would react to it from this center leading you. If you want to vocalize, you can vocalize. It's not going to come from in front of you. It's going to come from a different direction. Who knows? What? 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 Hmm. There it is again. What? What? Who? Who's there? Ray. You're not exactly sure. So you're going to gather yourself. You're going to gather yourself and think about it. I want this nose and the body following the nose, the breath following the body to lead you back to your chair. And how does this body in this place, in this breath, find its sitting position again? It's gonna be different than yours. Don't rush it. Find all those new weight shifts, those valuable weight shifts that aren't you. Really lean into it. You might keep seeking, you might not. That nose is leading your way. And then I'm gonna take the light of that nose, bounce it up, and send it over to Lisa. And I will take that bounce <laughs> and allow ourselves to let that float back into your ideal artistic center. And for, uh, we'll continue with the getting up process. Um, and what I'd like to do is, is as you're seated, oh. Imagine that you can allow yourself to really feel the, uh, the energy flowing deep into the earth and out uh, in an expanded way with this sense of the ideal artistic cent center as a sun, like the center of the chart. And feel yourself sitting there in this universal sense of balance. And imagine that a center in your big right toe begins to throb and pulse. And it is the pulse and throbbing from the big right toe, which can only be relieved by standing. So allow yourself to let that throbbing big right toe radiate through you, allow it to be your leader, and allow it to raise you up. Perhaps you can only get relief by staying in movement that radiant, throbbing, big right toe. And what you're going to do now, is while you're up, you're going to adjust something in your space. Well, once you've adjusted whatever it is, let that right toe bring you back to seated. So that throbbing center brings you back. So you might sit differently than how you would normally with this center. And then shake that off completely and let that go. We're going to wrap up this. So that's a little bit of the Michael Chekhov technique on your feet the National Michael Chekhov Association way. And I thank all of our wonderful participants here. And we will plan to see you next week for another exercise.
My favorite person is... One minute on your imaginary bodies.